Hi, it's Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style coming to answer your colour and style questions today in my lucky dip. The first question comes from Sally who says, the big one for me at the moment is ageing. I really don't want to give up any tips. And I think this is a choice we all make. I do sometimes see people where I think they've really just given up, like they've gone to, you know, whatever is comfortable uh, and without any thought to style. And we don't have to do that. This is a choice. Just because we're getting older doesn't mean we can't be stylish. Uh, and I think, you know, all the old old rules of oh you turn 40 and you've got to cut your hair off short and that you know you can't wear a pair of jeans when you're 70 years old and all those sorts of things they are a load of garbage um there are no rules anymore in the way that there used to be kind of rules of what we had to wear as we got older so it's really up to you and there's so this it's about finding your style. And I think this is the thing is, when you see someone who has found their own personal style, which is an expression of their personality, who they are on the inside, expressed on the outside, then they always look more stylish, regardless of age. And I think this is something to think about. And this is where getting that style education really helps because it's something that we aren't taught. And often it's a skill we haven't learned. And it is a science. There is a lot of science behind why some things work and why some things don't work. And that relates to personality, it relates to bodies, colouring, all those sorts of elements that go into style. And of course, our style has to suit our lifestyle. And one of the things I notice, and this is something I see all the time, that as we get older, we are less prepared to be uncomfortable. I know when I was younger, I was way more prepared to be uncomfortable for style, uh, you know, particularly my feet. Uh, now, as I've gotten older, it's like, you know, I just, I, I can't be bothered with that. And also often as we age, we may get some health issues that might affect what we can wear. Um, and, and there's other things that come into, you know, making the decisions about what clothes we wear. But there is no reason why you cannot be stylish as you get older. Yeah, you may not have the body you had when you were a teenager or a 20-year-old, uh, but it's learning to dress the body you have today and expressing the person you are today. And you're probably a much more confident and self-assured person than you were when you were younger. And you probably know yourself a lot better. And so therefore, it's actually easier to find your style. When we're young, one of the things I always notice when I'm doing my kind of personality quiz and stuff with someone who's in there is like 25 and under, they often really don't know know themselves they think they're kind of everything they're like oh, I'm I'm rebellious and I'm and traditional and I'm this and I'm that and like kind of imposing kind of personality traits rather than as we get older we really get to know who we are much more and therefore it's actually much easier to define your style as you get older in that way and then it's just figuring out what are the clothes that work for you today rather than like looking back and thinking I used to wear things like that um, because body shapes change and colouring changes and all these things keep changing just as we keep changing and growing our whole lives. So I think it is getting that style education and deciding that you're not going to give up, deciding that you'll wear an accessory or that you'll, you know, you'll put things together in a flattering way, that you'll find the colours that suit you. I have so many clients who are more mature, more advanced in their their uh, their age, but also they've got incredible style. And this is because it's something that they want to take care of. And it doesn't have to take long every day. That's the other thing. It doesn't have to take long. You can be comfortable and you can be stylish. And thank God, modern fabric technologies mean that you can pretty much have stretch in anything these days, which really does add so much comfort to our clothing compared to, you know, what used to be where everything was very constrictive. Like even things like jackets, like this jacket, it's got some stretch in it. So it is comfortable. It kind of like acts like a cardigan but looks smarter and that's where we have you know so many more options available to us and we don't you know we've got the world open to us as far as where we get our clothes from as well we don't have to just get stuck going into the old lady stores so I think if you've decided you don't want to give up then don't give up and I think that is fabulous because style is a great way of you know creative expression of who you are as a person and it really does make a huge difference to our psyche about how we feel about ourselves and there's lots of research that goes into this. And there is research that shows is that when you have given up, you're often depressed. Um, so that is something as well, that if you do feel like you're giving up, maybe it's time to go and talk to your doctor about your mental health uh, because they are related things.